On this week's vlog, we make it to Vienna, where we eat cake and see some of the sights. Breakfast cider. It's an early start from Budapest, so time for some breakfast. Breakfast on the train. It's 245 kilometers northwest back up to Vienna and our beautiful new Airbnb apartment. We won't get to see that much as we're only here for a day, but I'm determined to have a go on the famous Vienna giant wheel. It's over 200 feet tall and dates back to 1897. There are great views over Vienna. It's located in the theme park of Prater, which is very close to where we're staying. It has those very distinctive red cabins and featured in the James Bond film, The Living Daylights. After our ride, we head into the city center. It really is a whistle-stop tour wandering around the sites on the inner ring road. Chris works out a walking route from Steffenplatz and the St. Stephen's Cathedral, right in the heart of the shopping district, along to the Hofburg and Heldenplatz. This grand imperial palace, now home to the Austrian president's offices and a number of museums, was once home to the Habsburg dynasty for many centuries. Across from the National Theatre is the City Hall, and while we were visiting, the circus was in town. They have an amazing old fairground pipe organ. We head off for something to eat and Chris searches out a very nice restaurant with some great vegetarian dishes and both the food and service is excellent. Then we head off for a drink at Peter's Cafe, an opera bar where many famous singers have visited over the years. It's like a museum with many pictures of the great opera legends. Next morning, and we're off to sample some of the great Viennese cafe culture, which of course includes cake. along with some English breakfast tea and coffee. The famous Viennese cake is Sacre Torte, and Chris has a similar style chocolate cake. Then, a bit more sightseeing. The St Charles Church is looking a bit grey in the murky weather this morning. Belvedere is a Baroque palace complex dating back to the early 18th century. We take a look around the magnificent and extensive gardens. Belvedere Palace, which is now a museum, houses some of the greatest Austrian art. And after a bit more wandering around, it's time for some lunch. Chris gets to try a pork Wiener schnitzel. I, of course, try a very tasty veggie burger.
juicy. Back on the tram, and one more stop gets us to Handelswasserhaus, a beautifully decorated and quirky apartment block and village, with trees and plants growing all over it. At this point, the rain sets in, and we have to get ready to head home. We've had a great few weeks in Europe, and if you haven't been following our previous stops in Prague and Budapest, then please do take a look back at our last travel vlogs. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and bell to make sure you don't miss out on our next adventures.